Yo, I am back finally, and today we've got a very exciting video. Um, we're going to be talking about episode one and two of the Bad Batch. Now, it's taken me a while because I've been busy, so apologies for that. But I cannot wait to go through this with you. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, episode one, we'll start off with that one first. Um, we start off with Depa Balaba and her apprentice, or her Padawan, Caleb, who is known as Kanan Jarrus in Rebels. Um, they are being pinned down by the Separatist droids until Caleb comes back with the Bad Batch as reinforcements. Next we see Hunter, Wrecker, Echo, Crosshair and Tech destroying the three tanks and a lot of droids. After this, uh, talk to Depper and all that. And that's when Order 66 starts to kick in. Now, spoiler here, none of the Bad Batch actually follow the Order. Except from maybe... Oh, I won't give it away, actually. So, the clones, uh, Depper Blabber's Legion, kill her, Caleb, Tried to save her, but couldn't, so he does not trust anyone now. That's where I'm kind of guessing his distaste for clones comes from. Um, <clears throat> Hunter and Crosshair chased after him to try and um, take him somewhere safe. They don't know about it, but as soon as Echo says on 66, everyone acts weird, and you see Crosshair just stood there like a soldier. I'm down, ready to comply. Uh, we'll see Hunter and Crosshair go after Caleb or Kanan and they find him but Crosshair tries to kill him. Obviously he fails. Caleb knocks out Crosshair. Hunter tries to convince him but Caleb runs away. Um, oh by the way, new haircut. Um, so after that we had um where's it now? Uh they went back to Camino. Um Crosshair doesn't believe that Hunter actually killed the kid and well Hunter said that he stunned him whilst he was trying to jump. Um after that we figure out that Camino's now on a level five lockdown, which fair enough. Um we see Depa Blava dead body covered and a lightsaber drop when they reach Camino. Uh, what are Coruscant guards? Yes, there's a shit to the Coruscant guard there. Pick it up, say if there's a problem, they don't, they go to the barracks, have a chit chatter. And before they get to the barracks, I think we finally meet Omega. Australian or New Zealand? What's the accent? I'm Omega. I'm going to go with New Zealand. Yeah, I'll go with New Zealand. Um, we've seen Australian Clone Wars actors already. Um, the clones are Australian. So, that's one thing. Um, what else can I say? After they beat Omega, um, I think they have lunch. No, wait. We are introduced to Admiral Tarkin, who is going to be evaluating the clones. Um, and then we see a brawl in the cantina between the five Bad Batch, or the Sad Batch members, and Omega, and a bunch of clones. Echo figures out that Tarkin is going to be the one doing the examine on the clones. Obviously, Tarkin is a big no no with clones. Um, after Echo gets knocked out in the cantina fight, they decide to try and, well, AZ, can't remember numbers, whether the numbers are, who fucking cares, um, try, is examining him, it's Omega's medical droid, she's a medical personnel with uh, one of the main people from Camino, one of Camino ones, um, then after <clears throat> they're meant to go talk with Prime Minister of Camino, but Admiral Tarkin actually wanted to see them in action again. Wrecker, obviously, excited, about to blow his load, if you know what I'm saying. Um, 
the first start off with uh, just stun. The robots were using stun mode on them. Crosshair, well, Hunter, obviously leader of group. Be very decisive with his movements. Crosshair up in tower. Everyone else moves around and takes them out. And then Tarkin does something and he demands the Kaminoans to use live fire rounds. And the droids that were used for this kind of look like the uh, Dark Troopers from Mandalorian. So I'm kind of guessing it's like the first prototype of it. Um, after this, Tarkin, well, Wrecker was shot in that. He's, he's alive, he's fine. Uh, he complains about it. Tarkin sends him off to go kill some separatist insurgents where we meet Saw Guerrera. So, they don't, they're expecting droids, but it's actually Guerrera is pro the Republic fighters that were trained by General Anakin Skywalker, now Darth Vader, but they don't know that. And Captain, no, Commander Rex. Um, they don't kill him. Crosshair really wants to, so it's kind of teasing that he has some sort of loyalty to the Empire because the, the inhibitor chips kind of slightly work, it's kind of flipping in and out of it right now. Um, after that mission, they arrest them, well, Tarkin arrests the clone, the Bad Batch, takes Crosshair and amplifies the inhibitor chip to actually perform Order 66. Simple enough, yeah. Um, after this, they escape the prison, they go after their things, and then out comes Crosshair with eight Coruscant guards trying to kill Hunter, Echo, Wrecker, Tech, and Omega. Wondering how Omega got into this, they went to go back to Camino to save her because she warned them about Tarkin. Um, they escape. I think it's Tech who gets shot by Crosshair and then Crosshair is shot by Amiga uh, it's kind of teased that Omega's kind of like got all of their personalities into one like she's got the senses of Hunter the shot of Crosshair the brutality strength of Raka maybe uh, the intelligence of Tech Obviously, Echo is what they like to call a reg, so. But, yeah, we end the episode on Hunter wanting to go and find some friends at a planet called J-19. And, obviously, for episode two, I would have predicted it was Rex. But, what can I say? So, that's where the episode ends, and I will give you my review of this right now. So, hmm, that's some good chances. Um, this episode is definitely the strongest one so far in the season. It's kind of a spoiler. I'm gonna have to give this episode uh, 8.5 out of 10. Very strong start to the series. But, let's get on to episode 2 of the Bad Batch. So we start off with them reaching the planet and it's not Rex, it's Cut, who is a former deserter clone. He's got a family of his own and it was kind of cool. Um, basically the family wants to try to escape the planet and Hunter is going to try and help him out and after what he saw with like a little a massive creature trying to attack Omega because went pa she went past the fence when playing fetch with the kids he wants Omega to go with them because he knows that he cannot raise her yes it's a she don't look like one but it's 2021 who cares so after that they have to well Cut and Hunter go into town to buy like kind of passes to the shuttles to get out there because they figured that well what's happened on the planet is that they'll confiscate everyone's ship and then meanwhile whilst they were there you mind 
Anyway, also there, um, they figured out they need a code now to get on with also credits. So, obviously, tech, being the man he is, has a weird plan. Has the ship confiscated so he can go and get the codes so he can give them to the family to escape. So, yeah, the ship's been captured. Um, Echo and Tech are on the ship, but they don't realise Omega is also on the ship because after the attack, Cut took her to the ship. So it's time for three working together to try and get the chips and the code for it. They get the code, they give it to the family, but without, not without resistance. Um, a lot of clothes try to attack. Wrecker goes to help. They get the chips to the family just before they get to the uh, queue. Like I had the queue to mark it in. And yeah, uh, Hunter tried to persuade uh, Omega to leave but she does not want to so um, after heavy resistance they get the family on the ship and also Omega does not go with the family she wants to stay with the Bad Batch and she stays with them um, they both admit they have a lot to learn and then it ends with them just in the middle of the galaxy looking at a screen Decent episode, I'll be honest. Uh, I didn't really explain that well, but obviously there's always this plus that you can go and watch on. But my review of episode two will be up in a second. So my ranking for f episode two: six point five. I could have given it a six, couldn't give it, couldn't give it a seven, so I had to give it this. It felt like a filler episode, obviously it kind of is, but it'll lead to a story later on. But, it was an enjoyable episode, the Bad Batch is kind of growing on me, I'm hoping it's not just this one season, I hope it's a couple, like maybe three or four. But, that is the review and ranking of them, um, thank you so much for watching, I know I'm meant to be doing Falcon up with the soldiers stuff still, but, um, I, I've been busy guys, I'm really sorry. But, uh, thank you all so much for watching, I hope you take care, and... As always, on the Shadow Hunter channel, back into darkness we go. Peace.